Hi everyone, welcome. Already, it always means a lot if we do that, and I'll see you in my next. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Beauty Intake. Or if you are new here, hello, I'm Divya. In today's video, as the title must have already told you, I'll be sharing with you all five very easy tips to incorporate in your makeup routine if you have dry skin type and you always feel that your makeup looks cakey and there's something that's not making your base look very natural. So if that's your issue, then today's video is definitely going to help you out. But this video and these tips are meant for only dry skin type, so might not work for an oily skin type. Probably can work for a combination skin type, but yes, oily skin वालों के लिए तो ये बिल्कुल भी नहीं है. So right, let's get started. The very first thing is to prep your skin nicely in a way that it will help you in dealing and tackling the dryness of your skin. And for that, I mean using a cream-based cleanser, a hydrating toner, a moisturizer. and a very very important one that a lot of people skip is using a facial oil facial oil can make a huge difference in how your makeup looks especially if you have dry skin type just in case if you don't have facial oil this one from good vibes rose hip this works really nice as a facial oil this says that this is a face serum but i'm no way going to recommend this as a face serum kyunki isme bahut sare oils hain and this works really nice as a facial oil But if you don't have this one, don't need to buy this. You can also use a few drops of jojoba oil or also sweet almond oil in very less quantity can also do the job of taking away that dryness from your skin. And just in case if you feel that oil is just too much or it's making your skin look very oily, you can use it and blot the extra with a tissue paper. It will do the job and your skin will not be sticky yet moisturized nicely for that matte foundation and makeup. Yet another thing that makes a huge difference in how the makeup looks is scrubbing your skin before doing your makeup. And no, by no means I'm recommending using a scrub like walnut base scrub. Just use a little bit of basin that is ground flour mixed with water, and then massage it on your skin for 30 to 40 seconds, and your skin will be very, very smooth. And of course, your makeup glides on beautifully when your skin is smooth. So if you have flaky skin, or even if you don't have flaky skin, just try doing this once. Just use half a teaspoon of ground flour with half a teaspoon of water. Massage it on your skin, just like how you would scrub your skin, and then see the difference of how your makeup glides on your face because your skin, of course, will be very, very smooth. Now in winters, and if you have dry skin type, you are expected to use a dewy foundation, and in summers, you are expected to use a matte foundation. But just in case, if you have a matte foundation only, especially the Maybelline Fit Me one, which is the most popular, then what can you do is add just one drop of facial oil or bio oil or jojoba oil, whichever oil that you have used on your face. Mix just one drop of it in your foundation, and you will see that your foundation is more glowy, dewy, and also less dry. Definitely try this, and you will see the difference. when you'll use it and just in case if you don't have a facial oil mix a bit of your cream based moisturizer that will do the job if you don't have facial oil facial oil is first priority but just in case if you don't have that you can also mix a bit of moisturizer too and just in case if you are looking for a dewy foundation and if you want a recommendation this one from rimmel is a really good one if you have dry skin type the third thing that you can do is to use a makeup sponge instead of a blush i have always felt and i have always observed that your base looks way more natural and less cakey when you use a sponge as compared to when you use your brush so if you have dry skin and since sponges are used wet it will not dry your skin out and also it will absorb all the extra foundation and your base will look super natural not that well as super natural but like very natural makeup base Now of course if you're using a foundation and concealer especially concealer requires setting with powder so they don't crease and here what you can do is instead of using a loose powder you can use a compact powder i feel compact powders are less drying as compared to loose powder but also just in case if you try put, to put your brush in a loose powder and in a compact powder compact powder hamesha zyada hi quantity mein aata hai so here if you are using a compact powder 
you will be using less quantity and of course less powder means less cakiness especially if you have dry skin to so less dryness too so yes use a compact powder a few recommendation from my side would be oh wait this one from Rimmel is a really good one and this one the Lakme 9 to 5 is also a really good non-drying compact powder so yeah you can try any of these just in case if you are looking forward to buy a new one but whatever compact powder you have that will work fine too next thing that you can do while powdering your face is instead of using big fluffy powder brushes use small fluffy eyeshadow brushes why because your whole face doesn't need powder because you have dry skin type your skin anyway isn't producing any oil so what is the purpose of setting your whole face so you need powder application only on targeted areas especially where you have used concealers so use small brushes and use it only where you need to set your makeup that is of course i told you where you have used concealer or just in case if you're using um, a powder blush then maybe a little bit on your cheek but definitely don't use powder all over your face Next advice given to dry skin people is of course to use cream blushes, lip and cheek tint, cream highlighter, so on and so forth, you get the point right. But what if you don't have any of these? Well of course if you don't have blushes, cream highlighters, then cream blushes ka kaam to koi bhi lipstick ka degi. But just in case if you are using powder blushes or if you are using powder or powder highlighter, then how to take away that cakiness? If you don't have a dewy makeup fixing spray, then all you can do is just put a little bit of rose water in a spray bottle or you can use any hydrating toner and spray it on your face and use that beauty blender to set your makeup. What this will do is it will melt all the powder and it will take away all the powderiness and cakiness from your skin and also since our toner is very hydrating it will also add that dewy finish to your makeup. But here's one thing that always do your eyeshadows after this process because of course if you're using eyeshadow and then you are spraying a rose water toner over that eyeshadow so wo kharab hone ke chances hain so yes this is one thing that you need to keep in mind and just in case if you are using this step then also set your eyelid once again before using your eyeshadows because chances are that it will crease if you are not setting it again so yes this is one thing that you keep in uh, that you need to keep in mind but otherwise a hydrating toner works beautifully as a makeup fixing spray especially if you have dry skin type can't really say much about how it will work on oily skin type So all right that was it for today's video I hope that you find this one helpful and if you did then you know the drill like the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it always means a lot if you do that and I'll see you in my next one bye and take care